Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 100. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, here we go. Rim, 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 rim. And we're off. I'm in reverse. Nope. Absolutely love Bullet for my Valentine. Oh my god, I've missed it. Missed him so much. Do you know the Gravity album as well? I don't know why, because a lot of people don't like a lot of these, like, rock bands that have made newer albums. But the Gravity album is one of my favourite albums from Bullet for My Valentine. I think it's more because it's heavy, but it's more mainstream heavy. It's not like just... I don't know. Ah, oh, shit. I'm being overtaken. Apparently, I'm the grandma of the racetrack right now. Give me that bank. Come on. Get out the way. Give me the side draft. What are you doing? Stop pushing. Stop pushing. No, that the fault is not mine. Hundred and eighty-five miles an hour down here. Mumford. Mumford. In it, G. Good. Very nice. This is sort of giving me, like, flashbacks to Gran Turismo 5. I don't know why. It just looks very similar to how GT5 did Le Mans. Uh, not Le Mans. Yeah, Le Mans. It is Le Mans. I was about to say Mulsanne. I mean, it's right, but it's also called Le Mans. Fucking hell. Butchered that one. They did have Le Mans in Gran Turismo 5, didn't they? Yeah. Or was it six? Am I confusing myself? I'm confusing myself. Let's carry on. <laughs> Before I go on a fucking mind fart. For the very last time. Oh, this is episode 100, by the way, chat. Episode 100. The 100th episode. The Futsa Multisport 3. I still can't believe we're 100 videos in. I think as well, we're going to be looking at um, another 40 just for this section. We're probably going to have about 190 to 200 videos. I think we're about halfway through in terms of, like, gameplay time. But the World Championship races towards the end, uh, 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 those are going to be the biggest videos, I think. Unless the actual endurance races are like two hours each, in which case those will be the longest videos. Oh, I forgot this song existed. Leech. What a tune. It's 
See, this makes more sense having three laps on this. But that one where we had, I believe it was the Mercedes, where it, the first Le Mans race we did, was three laps around there, but it had the chicanes and it took 15 minutes. Like, that's just fucking stupid. Leech. Hi, <laughs> hey, Leech. Oh, delusion, oh yeah. Here's the second chicane coming up. Right, I'm gonna break now, a little bit later than we need to. Still a bit too early. I wanna try and do it in one breaking zone. <laughs> Crash in the party. Crash in the party. Crash in the party. <laughs> Crashing the party. Right, we've got one more lap of this track. Well, we've got two more. Wait, one, two, three. We've got four more corners. Three, two. Wolfie, what up? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Ow! God, my neck. Three minutes 51 was that last lap. So hopefully we can get a slightly faster lap than that. Probably not. No, my luck. Having a good day, what about yourself? I'm having a great day. Good to hear that you're having a good day as well. <laughs> Bullet for my Valentine is one of those bands that's just like, fuck yeah. Let's go. Do I just, um, edit all of my, like, recording and make, like, a really, really long, like, 100-hour video and just post that to YouTube? Because, to be honest, it wouldn't take much to upload it. I've, all of, I have all of my streams still recorded. Uh, and I have all of the original footage as well of all of the races. So I could quite easily just piece them all together. <laughs> fair enough, Wolfie, fair enough. Yeah, um... I could quite easily piece together every single race. Um... And make, like, a long-ass fucking video of just... One video. 
but somehow I'd have to put it in so that there's an ad that runs every like 15 minutes or something like that I don't know should I do it would it be funny it would take me literally days to edit though there's no no way out Oh yeah, it would take me fucking ages actually now that I think about it, because I'd have to edit, I'd have to use like the raw stream footage, and that would get a fucking copyright claimed instantly, because there's so much music on it. Ah, you tit, tit, fuck. Moron. Keep him moving. Um. Yeah, I can send it to you. Because uh, Tidal actually has, like, public profiles now. So I'll just send you the profile and you can see all my playlists. They're basically, like, Spotify now. Uh, let me work out how the... F what in the fuck is going on with this mouse? He just fucking... Eek! Function! There's no... No way out! Sue! I don't get the Sue meme, but... Apparently people do get it. I mean, people say best meme ever, but like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, shit. I oh, fucked that one. There you go, Wolfie. That's my uh, title profile, so you'll find all my playlists on there. Nimm, 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 nimm. Alright. Very nice. Good first race of episode 100. We've got a 20% discount on valves and displacement. Very, very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Alright, we are here for Camino Valle de Montserrat Extreme Circuit. The very, very long one, as they say. Yeah, so, uh, if you cheer 100 biddies or over a pound dono, then uh, Brian, the TTS legend, will uh, read your message out. <laughs> the long boy. This isn't even the longest track in the game, but yeah. We still haven't had a race around Nürburgring. That's a good shout. Um, yeah, the Nürburgring we haven't come across yet at all. <laughs> um, just a pre-warning, the media share isn't actually working at the moment. Um... So yeah, try, try not to do media shares. The TTS is fine, but the media share actually is not working. Um, it broke last stream, pretty much. I had to redo all the OBS, and I just haven't had time to <laughs> remove the command and everything. So, ta-da! I suppose, I mean, to be fair, in Forza Motorsport 3, they've done a really, really good job of uh, varying the tracks, but I will admit, I've seen way too much of Road Atlanta 
I think that track is overused a little bit in this game. There isn't enough of Sedona Raceway. Ro Road Atlanta literally is the one track I think that is used too much. But I suppose if you put a couple less Road Atlanta, you'd end up with more of something else and then you'd notice, oh, there's way too much Laguna Seca, for example. I think to be fair, if every American racetrack was to be destroyed on the fa off the face of the earth, not many people would complain. Not as much as if they were to get rid of every European track, because the European tracks are just much better at, for cars to go around. Like, this is this car's fucking terrible around this European circuit, because it's just not designed... Like, American cars are literally designed to go in a straight line, slow down, turn. You can't do any of those simultaneously, which a lot of these tracks are designed for, like, accelerating around corners and stuff like that. Ah, oh, the Alps is the... gets added in the next game. I'm not sure if, um... Camino Vio actually returns in Motorsport 3. Uh, Motorsport 4, sorry. I think this track is in Motorsport 4 still. But um, the Alps actually makes a, makes an appearance in the next game. Uh, and that's there for pretty much all of them, I believe. Uh, Motorsport 5, they obviously added Prague. Motorsport 6, they added... What did they add in Motorsport 6? Rio. That was it. And then 7, they added Dubai. Dubai was a strange one, to be honest. The weird track for them to add. But, um, I have a feeling that Rio, Dubai, Prague, Burmese Alps, I believe they're all going to make a return in the next game. I'm just really hoping that they can remaster some old stuff. Like, they've obviously done Maple Valley, but I think Alpine Ring from Motorsport 1 should make a return to the Motorsport franchise. I really do. Alpine Ring was a really good circuit. And I think remastering that would be awesome. Because that brings sort of like a bit of nostalgia into the game. Um, that's the one thing that I love about games when they remaster old stuff. It brings back nostalgic feel. Blue Mountain is not the... Com compared to Bathurst... I'd say Blue Mountain is ever so slightly better, but Blue Mountain is the worst fucking track ever. Blue Mountain, uh, to be fair, it was probably the fact that Forza Motorsport 1's handling model was pretty crap. But, like, Blue Mountain was terrible. I hated it with a passion. That was a one track I could not get on with in Motorsport 1, like... Every time it turned up, I'd be like, fuck me. It's this pile of shit again. There's no other way of describing it. It's just a pile of poo. See, this circuit, though, right, obviously this... I was dive-bombed by a saline from 1.5 seconds back and yeeting me into the wall on the final. I <laughs> hate the track, yeah. <laughs> exactly, the track is terrible. Um, but yeah, when it comes to... Motorsport 1, obviously... Uh, sorry. Motorsport 1 and 2... Not just Motorsport 1. You obviously had the test track circuit, which was fucking terrible. 
Tokyo was all right, but the first and the last chicane were terrible corners. Um, the rest of the track was awesome. It was actually a really nice track, really nice street circuit. But the problem was you basically had a segment of the circuit at the very start that was extremely risky. So, oh yeah, I've done a good job, okay. Next lap, that's fine, that's fine. And then that final chicane on the final lap fucking catches you off guard. You crash into that and your race is ruining it. Ah, oh, I did that three times in my first playthrough of Motorsport 1 and I did it twice in my second. And I kid you not, every time that I did that, controller was across the room, guaranteed. Oh, this is a good one. Your betrayal. Like Monaco and Macau in one. Macau? It's not a Formula One track, is it? Oh, is that Singapore? The Singapore circuit, Macau. The rings about. But yes, if you're. That's Marina Bay. Oh. Uh, I thought Marina Bay was Dubai. What's Dubai's track name then? I'm confused. I'm confuzzled. Am I going insane? Yes, very confused. <laughs> Brain broken. Sure, I start to blister. Hope for a final embrace. So here we are. I'm in my head. By the way, chat, if you do want to help the YouTube out, uh, if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to watch some of the YouTube videos. Um, the more watch time we get over on YouTube, the uh, more that we actually get into recommended, as well as dropping likes on the videos. Uh, we get more into recommended if people drop likes on the videos. So if you do want to help support the channel, Feel free to go through and do that. Just uh, don't watch the video for 30 seconds and like it, because uh, YouTube also is smart. Like, actually watch the video and like it. <laughs> give it like five, ten minutes of view time, and then give it a like. That's how we can please the algorithm. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, feel free to join on Twitch. We do this live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It's very funny. It's very stupid. It's very confusing sometimes. But yeah. And thank you in advance. You see, I thank people in advance before they've even done. <laughs> Pay the price for your betrayal. Oh my god, this Xbox. I think it's going to, like, die at some point. I hope it does. Alrighty, yo, lads. Let's go. I'm sorry, so Formula One is doing this F1 Academy thing, and apparently the cars that they use- Oh, for fuck's sake, man. This seems very backwards. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try and- Oh my- God, okay. 
AI cars are just crashing into each other now. Lovely. We're at 94 and a half hours of playtime, by the way, chat. So, we've been playing a lot of Forza. Move, you fat pig. Bonk. That was a Prost and Senna moment, yeah. Wait, was it on this track as well? Was it on Suzuka? It might have been on Suzuka as well, actually. I'm not sure what track it was on. It was on Suzuka. So yeah, that was a well, that was a good moment. <laughs> Prost and Senna moment. Um, yeah, so Hang on, I'm just trying to read this thread. So it's launching in 2023. Uh, it's for only female drivers. 15 drivers and 5 teams, so each team has 3 drivers. 7 events. And the driver budget is capped at 150 grand. So here's the thing that doesn't make sense. So they're supposed to do an academy thing where they're supposed to train drivers to get good female drivers. They want female drivers in Formula 1. Which I'm all for. I think everyone should have an opportunity to become a Formula 1 driver. It should be more fair. However, how is the 150 grand budget enough for a single driver? Like, to be honest, there are drivers being paid millions to drive in Formula 1 and they're being given 150 grand in their budget to fund their year as like training for Formula One and whatnot. That makes no sense. Why such a small amount of money? Like that's like saying, oh yeah, by the way, we think you should do Formula One, but we're only gonna give you a minuscule amount of money that does absolutely fuck all to what you actually need. Uh then the fact that they've only got fifteen drivers Formula 1 has 20, and that's a very small grid of drivers. Like, you would think, ah, 10 teams, 30 drivers, go at it. That seems a more appropriate number. If they're really trying to get females into motorsport, especially at the, the higher tiers, you know, get on with it. Get more people there. Pascal Werlein in 2017 got paid 250 grand. I mean, that's quite a low amount. When you think about it, Yuki Tsunoda is being paid in the hundred thousands. I think he was being paid 800 grand in 2021. For that season, I'm not sure what he got paid this season, but I know in 2021, he was the only driver that was earning less than a million pounds as part of his wage to drive in Formula 1. Every other driver was getting at least a million. Ocon was getting one point something. And then Lewis Hamilton was earning 55 million. You know. It is honestly it seems backwards. It should be funding more for these drivers than just a measly small amount of money. So to cap it at 150 grand, I know it makes it fair. For all the teams. But that also seems quite backwards. Um, what's this point to say? The aim of F1 Academy is to set as a feeder series for higher levels of competition. Including W Series, Formula 3, Formula 2 and Formula 1. Now, I don't understand W Series either. I think to have a competition of racing just for females... I, it doesn't make sense to center an entire competition of driving around just the female gender makes no sense there should be a more easily accessible event 
bring back Formula 4. Like, make Formula 4 a mainstream thing, and then have more females in that. And get them to go up the ranks, Formula 4 to Formula 3 to Formula 2, you know. Same as everyone else. Because as well, like, having the W Series, which is basically just Formula 4, but women only. Formula 4 doesn't even exist, by the way. They're more like local areas, like Formula 4 UK and stuff like that. There's not a mainstream one done by the Formula Company. Liberty Media. I think it's Liberty Media. So, again, that seems quite backwards. F1 Academy will begin racing in 2023 and feature 15 drivers and 5 teams. Yeah, again, like, I understand having more drivers per team. That makes sense. You need more drivers per team if you're trying to get more people. But the fact is there's only 5 teams. And the fact that it's called F1 Academy as well, but it's all female drivers. Like, it's not really an F1 Academy, it's just W Series 2. Like a lower down version of the W Series. Again, it's, it's weird. Makes no sense. So there's 21 races, which I mean is fair enough. Three races per event. Makes sense. One of them is going to be an F1 race weekend. Okay, fair enough. Ah, uh, tits. I can't read that bottom one. It's just, again, like... Uh, the thing that confuses me the most about it is the budget. Like, 150 grand. That's not... a good budget. To learn, like, to be a professional driver. That seems backwards. First you wanna hate me? Shit. That's not the lyrics. Oh, there's more slides! How many slides are there? Fucking hell! Crap. I had a bad corner there. So it's all about, like, getting practice time with the team. But again, why... Is... If, if that's, like, one of their main goals, why is it just females that get that then? Why isn't there, like, F1 Academy for guys? So, again, seems slightly backwards. A hundred and sixty-five horsepower. That's, like... Your typical Ford Fiesta has more horsepower than that. And yes, I know they're lightweight cars, but like... That just seems ridiculously small. Thirteen inch Pirelli, is that right? Seems weird. This whole series just seems really strange. This Formula One Academy shit. It's weird. 
I really don't like how this car handles on this track. It's like trying to get around these long sweeping corners is just a pain in the ass. As well as trying to make sure I've got my facts right on this F1 Academy shit that I'm talking about. Doesn't really help. So for female drivers, instead of going into the W series, they actually go from like the F1 Academy to straight to Formula 3. So there's a way of getting them into Formula 3. Then why have we got the W series? Why does the W series exist then? If that's not the career path for females. Like surely, it just doesn't make sense. And then again, the fact that Formula 1 is trying to push for female drivers, like, I understand why I'm all for having more female drivers in Formula 1, but I know that Formula 1 is all about money. And at the end of the day, a driver is only going to pay for, or a team is only going to pay for the fastest driver that they have available. Like, they're going to want their best options, and... I mean, out of, we've had multiple female drivers go into Formula 3, but Formula 2 teams look at that and say, they're not fast enough. Like, it's very difficult. Even if someone like Sabine Schmidt, rest in peace, Sabine, amazing driver. Even if Sabine Schmidt went into Formula 3, Formula 2, I doubt she'd get into Formula 1. Even though she's a killer driver. But I think there are male drivers statistically are faster. So I, th I think again, it seems quite backwards that they're trying to push for more female drivers when statistically they've never been faster. You know, it, it seems weird. It's a weird place to be pushing their money. It all seems backwards. It, it seems more like a PR stunt than an actual let's make some change. You know. Which, I mean, everything that Formula 1 does is a PR stunt now because it's all just fucking stupid. It's corrupt as hell. It just seems weird. Strange. Very strange. But it is what it is and we can't do nothing about it. Yeah, you know, I should own Formula 1 so I could deal with all this shit and just fucking end it. You know. But it wouldn't happen. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.